I'd like to expand my hard drive. I actually have a larger hard drive than the 700 gigabytes that sh are shown on the C drive. But I can't see the extra data, so I want to open that up using computer management. You can just go to your search box and type in computer management, and it opens up. One of the problems you may run into with computer management is that the data is not contiguous. So, for instance, I've got this 851 recovery partition, but what I want to do is I want to expand my C drive into this 232 gigabytes that we see here. It also says it's a recovery partition, or it may say that it's just an unused, unformatted uh, space on your hard drive. But I can't get to it because of this middle section. And if I try to right click on it, I can't delete either one of those. So what I want to do is I want to use disk part to fix this. I'll open up a command prompt and type in disk part. And a new box will open up or it'll just open up right inside your command prompt either way. And I want to type in list disk. And there are my three disks. I need to go back to computer management to make sure I'm choosing the correct disk. And disk 0 is my C drive, so that's what I want to select. So let's go back to my disk part and type in select disk 0. Now it's selected. Next I'll type list partition. There's my three partitions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete my partition 2 and 3. Now in your case, you may see partition 2 is recovery and partition 3 is unused. If that's the case, you can just leave partition 3 alone or partition 4 or whatever it is. I just want to delete anything between my primary and the area that I want to use. Next, I'm going to type in select partition. Now I'll type in delete partition, and you got to type in override because otherwise it's not going to let you do it. So now I see my list partition command will show me the primary and the recovery. It also shows me that I now see if I do a list disk and list partition that I've got 851 megabytes free, which is because I deleted that one recovery partition. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to delete partition 3 as well. I'll click Select Partition 3 and Delete Partition Override. And now it's gone. And we'll type List Partition again. And we just see the 697 gigabytes. Now I'm going to go back into my computer management and we see that I have unallocated my 233 gigabytes so I can now expand my C drive. Next I will right click on my C drive and choose extend partition. And now I can do that which is something that wasn't an option before. So I want to extend it all the way out. And look at that, now I have the full terabyte on my C drive. So I'll go into my settings and under the search box I'll type in system restore. And I'm going to click on create a restore point for my C drive. And I'll click on create. I'll just type in a name for it and click create. And it was done successfully. So now I can protect myself just in case I have a problem in the future, say, with the virus. And that's how you get back your additional storage. Now, this works on Windows 10, as you see here. It also works on Windows Server for 2016, 2019, even older versions, 2012, etc. The only thing that doesn't work is there is no system restore point in the server version. So you won't have that option, but you can certainly uh, go in and make sure that you have a good backup on your server, so that way you can restore it if you need to in the future.